Hi guys, I'm on here tonight to do a tutorial because somebody asked me to make one for these little broomsticks. There's one and here is another. So let's get started. I just got a new um, tripod thing for my desk, but this isn't my normal desk that I use. So I'm using the desk behind where I usually um, make things because I got the one that you stick on the edge of the table and I forgot my desk has a drawer, so it wasn't gonna work. So I'm using the one behind me. So I used a tassel die and it's this little tassel die and I ordered it off of AliExpress. Um, I will try and find it and link it below. It's about one and oh, almost three quarters by two inches. But if you don't have the die, you can just cut it in that size. And I don't use the top part, so don't even need that. But after you die cut it out, you are left with a piece like this. And sometimes when it comes out, it doesn't always come apart. So I have to get the little scissors and just separate them. Doesn't need to be perfect. Probably should have ran it through a few times. Okay, and of course, don't I get a sinus cold, but um, it cuts it out to about like right up there. So then you're gonna wanna go through with a little pair of scissors and just cut along the top. But I don't know if you can see, you don't wanna cut all the way down to this one. You wanna leave a space so that you can glue it. So just go through. Oops, sorry. Am I still in frame? Yep, I am. And make little snips. Okay. And then all I used, I got these from the Dollar Tree. And I just removed the little gold piece. And then I just took like these and cut it in half. Come in. So I just cut them about in half and then I painted each half, let them dry. And that's how I got the little stick. And then let's kind of separate those. And then I have tool and I just measured I just stuck it on the roll, on like this roll of tool this way. I just kind of measured and cut along that way, leaving it a little wider on each side because I kind of like the way this one came out. So it's nice and full with the tool. So then after you have, I did like four pieces. So then you just get your paper and you're gonna wanna go in between those cuts, start putting glue there. My glue gun over here. So just put a little dab of glue. Oops, shoot. No, 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 I forgot you have to glue these first. That's okay, I'm just gonna, yeah, that kinda hurt, but oh well. <laughs> just add some glue on your tool. No, I'm not good at tutorials. I don't do them very often. And then you're just going to want to put your tool there. And then just start wrapping. I need a little more glue. And with the 
finish wrapping and then grab this it's probably enough glue there I just put it down a little way so that this is sticking out at the top because we're going to cut that so it kind of flares out. Okay. Then just add glue along and through there. Then you can just start wrapping around until it holds onto there and I just took a bigger pair of scissors and I left it just a little bit longer now these ones here are shorter so I had cut, if you want to make them really tiny, so just kind of, I guess I should have done that first, cut that off, but it'll still work. The first one I made, I left it a little bit longer. Just flare those out. And flare them out on the top. And then take your little scissors and just go around make snips just have to pick at it and the same thing for the bottom Kind of take your scissors, go through. And cut. Probably do one more. you just have to pick at it and flare it out and if you want to cut it some more just go in with your scissors and cut a little more but that's basically all I did and then you can either put string cute string on here or you can put a little gem or like I did a tiny little sparkly bow and I did the same thing on here so it just depends you can make these longer these longer shorter you can use crepe paper but that's all I did was just some Dollar Tree stuff I got this at Hobby Lobby and then this is the Frank Garcia 31 paper but you can use any paper and that is basically how I made my little witch brooms. And I hope that was helpful. And thank you guys for watching. Bye. Have a good night.